The Lucretia Seals case brought euthanasia back onto the country's agenda. A judge ruled it was up to Parliament to tackle the issue. Well, now a petition is set to be taken to the Beehive tomorrow in the hope it'll lead to a select committee inquiry. One of the organisers of that petition and member of the Voluntary Euthanasia Society, Marianne Street, joins me now. Uh, Marianne, thanks very much for your time this morning. Um, My pleasure. How thanks, many signatures? You, this closed on the weekend. How many signatures? 8,975 at the final count. Do you think that this is going to make a difference presenting a petition of that number to Parliament? I think it is. I think it's the next step and it's clear from the signals that politicians have been giving out that they are ready to do an inquiry. They may not be ready to consider a bill, but they are ready to have an inquiry into this and just see what the extent of public opinion is. You know, I wonder if that's true, though. Who do you think is ready? Because it seems to me there isn't one party in the House that really want to put their support behind a change in, in, with regard to euthanasia. But there are many individual MPs who are prepared to support it. So while there may not be a willingness for any party to own this issue, it is in the end a conscience issue. Mm. And I remain a little bit puzzled as to why MPs won't pick it up, uh, although it's clear that uh, there is a lot of support and, and there may be a bill coming through very soon. Well, yes. Are you referring to um, David Seymour's drafting of a bill? Yes. Yeah. And because, of course, you have done this yourself. And then at the end of the day, you were thwarted um, by uh, Andrew Little on this. He wanted he wanted it out. It's been presented twice before to Parliament and it's failed on the two occasions uh, it was presented uh, earlier. What has actually changed now? Well, if you have a look and see how the votes went on the previous two occasions, the gap between... Mm the eyes and the nose uh, narrowed hugely. And that uh, we are now 13 years on from the last vote and people have had started to have the conversations that are necessary in order to understand what the issues are. So there is a lot more knowledge and I think what Lucretia Seals and Matt Vickers did uh, was absolutely extraordinary and really pushed the legal boundaries and the judge was right. He couldn't overreach Parliament and so it's kicked back to Parliament and that's the place that should decide in law how this issue is addressed. And the issue here is how best should Parliament decide on it. John Key has absolutely ruled out a government-backed bill. He believes mm. this is a conscience issue for MPs. Do you agree with him there? Oh, absolutely. Yes, of course it should be a conscience vote. Um, there's no doubt about that. And I, I believe there are more MPs in Parliament right now who would vote for it than against it. It's, uh, it's just a matter of getting it onto the order paper. So if they want information, this inquiry, which is what the petition asks for, is the way to do it. Get the information out there, get MPs considering it in the dispassionate mm. select committee process. Which is what you want. And then mm. let's have a bill emerge from that with them all better informed. OK, so very quickly give me a timeline. You're presenting this uh, on Tuesday to Parliament. Best case scenario, what do you imagine will happen? Well, it should go to a select committee. I have a preference for the health one, but it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It should go to a select committee the, the very next day. Uh, well, the day after it's been presented to Parliament. It should go to the select committee. Then the select committee must decide how it's going to address it and call for submission. So I would say a six-month process for an inquiry, then a consideration of the report. And I would, I would say that by the end of the, this year, we should be okay. able to see a result. All right, Marianne Street, we will follow it very, very closely. Thank you very much for your time this morning, um, Voluntary Thank Euthanasia you, Society.